Okay, today we're going to silver solder the stay bolts on one side of a, uh, a, a Shea boiler. This is a modification of Kozo Hiraoka's design for a three and a half inch track gauge Shea and this is uh, modified for a track size that's about half that. And uh, I'm not going to talk too much. Once the, uh, once the torch gets going, it's going to be very noisy. I know the sound quality is not so great anyway. Um, we're, we're in a garage near the opening, but we're fighting uh, 12 mile an hour uh, winds with the gust of 30. So I've shut the garage door a little. Um, what you're going to see with this uh, stable is uh, I need to warm up the whole boiler a lot because I want the silver solder and the copper to come to the melting point of the temperature at about the same time. The only way to do that is, is to try to heat up the whole assembly a lot before focusing the flame right on the, uh, the stay bolts. Um, I've got long sleeves and welding gloves on so I can do some reachy type of stuff. Um, I, I just have uh, shorts on. Uh, when we get going, I'll, I'll probably uh, have my legs and knees out of the way and uh, you know, it'll just be my arms that are getting anywhere near the flame. So let's see how it goes. Um, this is a Siever uh, 2943 nozzle and I've got the, uh, the propane, uh, straight propane torch. Uh, propane's up uh, at like 40 pounds and uh, you won't see the flame, you'll just hear it. I'll be judging a lot by the, by the sound of the flame. That was adjusting for the maximum flow. I'm not going to try to talk too much while I'm doing this. It's going to be too nerve wracking. Um, I'm fighting some wind gusts right there. You want to start gradually and dry out the flux. I, I've got the flame, you know, not, not turned up very high. I can tell from the sound that we're getting, you know, some crosswinds.
Okay, I'm, I might have surprised you by the amount of heating that I threw around the stay bolts, uh, just trying to bring the whole assembly up to a good temperature. And then I also might have surprised you with, even after the, the job looks soldered, I continued to heat and uh, kind of soak in to make sure the, uh, the silver solder was getting uh, spread thoroughly and uh, displacing all the flux on the metal surfaces and uh, you know, really, really getting around. I'm gonna uh, take the camera in my hand now and uh, move it uh, closer to the stable so you can see they're, they're really pretty good looking. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pleased with the degree to which the silver solder spread. And if you'll notice, I use this uh, stainless steel uh, rod uh, with, with the, to kind of jiggle the solder and uh, get it to flow a little, and that really helped. That's a, that's a technique that uh, Kozo's recommended. Um, so here we are, we're gonna do a little, little bit of close up on the stay bolts. Apologize, I'm unwrapping the strap. Um, and I apologize that the light is so, so dark. There, uh, I think you could see that uh, the silver solder has spread uh, all around the stay bolts. And uh, that's a wrap, that's a pretty good deal. So uh, that's the end of the movie.